Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Dungeon Encounters. I have just started the game for the very first time. This is my first impression of this game. I don't really know what to expect here. I just saw it. I'm a huge uh, Square Enix... Uh, what are the kids saying these days? Is it simp now? Or are we still on Stan? Or both. Either way, I love most things that Square Enix puts out, except for some of the... Uh, less quality games that are meant to be AAA, but we won't get into those. But this looks good, I think, but I don't really know what to expect. Anyway, uh, the story. Near a quiet and peaceful and... Uh, near, near a town, quiet and peaceful, an otherworldly labyrinth one day appeared, and from its depths poured forth countless ravenous fiends. The lords sent their best and brightest to chart the halls and beat back the horde, but alas... Not a single returned. Bereft of men-at-arms, but not of hope, the small folk resolved to stand for themselves. One by one they came to the academy, to learn warcraft, that they might succeed where others failed, that they might breach the heart of the stronghold and drive the fiends from their lands once and for all. This sounds like a mix of the game Eternal Poison, as well as the uh, Fire Emblem games, that remains to be seen. Journey to the Academy. Ooh. Assemble my party. Well, that... Sure. I would like to review the party composition play guide. Thank you. Current party members. Sure. A list of all characters can be perused here. <coughs> Followed by one of the characters in the list. Please fill... The thing is, I recognize doing, like, looking at this. I want to read it quickly so I'm not just hanging out here, but I also don't want to read it too fast so that later on people are like, Oh, what are you doing? You didn't even read the fucking tutorial. Yes, I know. I'm not going to pull an Aaron Hansen here. Or at least I'm going to try not to. Okay. Uh, not super sure what the address part is, but I'll figure that out, I suppose. Status element? Sure. Um... Okay. Whoop. Who do, oh, oh, oh god. Ah. Don't know what happened there. Who do I want? Nanga Par. I was just checking to see if the speed is any... He's pretty slow, but what has he got going on here? Does it have, like... Are there classes? Like, what's the deal here? Oh, I gotta take Elva. I want Nanga Par. Wenzo. Um, I don't know what that is, but I kind of want to figure it out. They're mostly the same, all things considered, but I do like whatever she's got. On, I like accessories and things, or he, they. I'll just say they for now. Of course I've got to take Elva, are you kidding me? It's a cat creature with a hatchet. Oh, is it an anthropomorphic character? Well, that'd be fine, but I... Oh, profile. Aha. Okay, he. Gotcha. There's a place, legend states, where one's most fervent desires and fantastic dreams may be realized. A place where impossibility dies and imagination is the sole limitation. A place of power divine. He has dedicated his life to learning the truth of this tale. A quest which has led him into the labyrinth. Its denizens deter him not. Indeed, their presence suggests secrets worthy of discovery. Should the place exist, and should he find it within, what wishes will he seek granted? Good question. Years and years ago, the Royal Institute conducted a survey in a distant land far beyond the frontier. There, in a ruin believed to be tens of thousands of years old, the scholars made an unprecedented discovery. They found a survivor, seemingly lifeless but unmarred by time. When the church learned of the find and subsequent attempts to reanimate it, the scholars claimed ignorance. Nevertheless, the Institute was closed. Rumor has it, however, that the Beastman escaped. <gasps> Egads! Well, good to know. Ooh, hmm. He had followed Natalania? Nataliana? Over earth and water for blood. A long journey fraught with peril and death. But his wounds healed, his thews thickened, and his resolve deepened. The life I have been given belongs not to me. I offer it to honor the memory of home. He held the stone of midnight to his breast and whispered a prayer to his ancestors. I'm not going to read the rest of the next one, just because, you know, time. 
Ooh, money. Love that already. Uh, how do I? There we go. <laughs> um, you look like a, a caster, possibly, and I like that idea, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna bring you along, I guess. So... Are we good? Do I... Oop! The exploration play guide? Sure! Aha! Tiles with light numbers contain events. Gotcha. To trigger them, enter the tile and select Confirm. Note the tiles you have previously traversed will change color permanently. Okay. Events can always be found at the, wait, events can always be found at the same location. This location will be recording your event log. If an event can be found at multiple locations, the most recent one visited will be displayed. Sure. Hmm. The address is displayed here. Oh, at the top. Gotcha. To its right is the number of tiles you have mapped. Okay, sure. Your movement speed is displayed there. Got it. Total number of tiles mapped in the dungeon. Followed by the number of tiles you must map to attain an ability point. Okay. This all seems pretty easy. Or like, well, some of it I don't get yet, but we'll see. Auto advance allows you to move your party automatically until reaching an event or wall. Auto advance settings. Press and hold O. Ooh, also, yes, love that I <clears throat> I plugged in my PS5 controller and it changed the button prompts to the PS5 controller. Yes, thank you. Press and hold while moving your party to initiate auto advance. Release O to stop. Oh, press. Got it, sure. Play guides can be reviewed in the menu. Awesome. So, confirm. Oh, hmm, okay, got it. Um, what, uh, ooh, oh, okay. Ability station? Nah. Adventures rest. Uh, sure. The party, the party's ability uses will be restored. Oh. Hope I can use that again. Hmm. Healing fountain. Purification spring. These are all good things that I don't feel like I should use. But we're going to map some stuff out here because I guess I want an ability point. Okay, may have to turn the speed down. I thought... Didn't think it would be this, uh... Whoop. Although... Ah, there we go. Like, how do I get there? Cool. Okay, triangle, apparently. Uh, what, what? Hey, now. I want, oh, haha. -ha. Oh, I like that. I like that you can find little hidden paths on this little paper map. The Chimera's Arms. Oh, oh, okay. I have no money. Good, oh. An ability point. Okay. So let's figure out what to do with abilities. Or how to... Hmm. Cool. Play guides. Battle abilities. Can be obtained... Oh, via events. Got it. These abilities can be set to active at ability stations. Abilities can be obtained via events. So, okay. Many abilities have a limited number of uses. Sure. Ability point pool. Got it. Well, let's go back to number three and see if I can get some. No, I can only set it there. Okay, well, uh, hmm. Skeletons defense. Oh, I'm in a town, aren't I? That would make sense. That would make sense that I'm in a town. Great. Okay, well. Look, like I'm waiting for a battle or something. Like, what are we doing here? Yeah. Resurrection Shrine? Thanks, but apparently I don't need that right now. Ooh, one. Ooh, hmm. We'll, uh, we'll get there in a moment. I have some more mapping to do. 
I wonder if you get anything from mapping all the tiles. I hope so. For fully charting, floor zero, three, ooh, ability, yes, love that for me. Uh, reminds me of, um, oh god, what's the name of that game? Uh, Star Ocean Till the End of Time, when you can get stuff for fully mapping places. Okay, let's go down into the depths of hell, apparently. Oh, I was, I was kidding, but here we are in apparently the depths of hell. Oh, cool. Yes, please. All participants in battle possess an ATB gauge, which fills over time. Okay, they may act. Weapons can be used to carry out attacks. These attacks deal one of three types of damage, physical, magical, or HP. Okay. Huh, weird. HP damage. Hmm. Physical attacks damage and deplete an enemy's physical defense. Okay. Magical defense, sure. When one of these defenses is fully depleted, subsequent attacks to the core of the corresponding type will deal. Oh, gotcha. You can take no action with a party member. You may hold cancel to pass their turn. Okay. Should the party emerge victorious, both physical and magical defense will be fully restored. Good. Oh boy. Uh. Slowly turning to stone. Got it. Cavied? That's a new one. Huh. Lost in the dungeon. Location unknown. Oh my god. That sounds terrifying. Ooh. Rude. So, who's going? Oh, Elva. Um, let us... Let's just attack the ghost for now. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, okay. Malio. I don't know... Oh, this is probably magic. I'm guessing by the little things over on the right, it shows stuff. An ability? Do I have it? I don't have abilities. Okay, let's just kill the ghost. Good. Malio. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna find out. Definitely magical in nature. Wow, cool. Yeah, don't focus fire, please. What did I just say? Okay, well, I'm gonna use hatchet on you then. So I think I should be able to kill them all with the next hit. Actually, I don't know what his... Oh, good. Like, I don't know how strong his magic is. Uh, ooh. Hopefully... Th Ow. Oh, darn it. I think it's just going to do one less than I need. Ew. Well, no HP damage to anyone, thankfully. Party was victorious. Huzzah! Small amount of gold, and four experience. I don't know. So, okay, I don't need a whole lot of experience to get to a new level. But I also don't get a whole lot of experience either. 71? Fe uh, ex exploration ability, fiend scouting, yes! Love that. While active, battle encounters will be marked on the map. Oh, good! To use this ability, you must equip it in Ability Station. I will explore- er, oh wait, I think I already looked at this. Never mind. An Ability Station. Wonderful. Battle encounters will be marked on the map. Hurrah! It was hidden behind my body. Great. Ooh, okay. Um, I mean, I may as well kill the ghost. Gore and Toss. Love that. Um, does this just do one directly to HP? It does! Cool. I saw the little heart over here, so I, I'm getting I'm getting a feel for how this works. Um, okay, 60 damage. But it only does 15. I wonder why that is. Must be the specific kind of attack. Hmm. We're victorious. Cool. Now, can I actually see these battles before I get to them? Oh, there they are. Good. 
Okay, there's 310 tiles here. Oh, excellent. Ah, uh, there's a battle. Uh, guess we'll give it the old college try. So it's basically the same. So I think another, if I run across another one, it'll look effectively the same as this. Okay, I wasn't actually paying attention to if he was going to go next or not. Wonderful. Okay, so it's... So I can see on the left there, it's kind of got like a graph line that's up and down. I wonder if that means the... Well, I don't know what that means. Huh. Maybe it's like the damage isn't always the same? That would, I guess, make sense. Because all these ones that have the straight line appear to be all the same amount of damage. I don't know. Okay, what do we got here? Resurrection Shrine, cool. Healing Fountain, don't need. And I probably could, like, click on it to see what's up, but I don't want to, like, ruin anything. Notes on Fiends, the Wild Boer. Profile added to battle log. Oh, okay. Experience 5. Well, I'm not getting... F oh, I would imagine the experience is probably, like, split among the party. Eh. Mystery Compound A. <gasps> crafting? I love crafting. Okay, cool. There we go. I'm going to guess ghost and boar. Cool. Rude. Um, uh, let's see. I'm gonna use Malio. And use Malio again. Okay, so looking again, it's a slashing attack against physical. I don't know what the like left pointing arrow means or the up and down graph. I don't have any abilities, so really let's just hatch it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Cause I'm going to guess this is going to do exactly 50. I should look at the equipment if I remember. Maybe I'll get something out of that. Three experience, hooray! Okay, uh, equipment, sure. Okay, each character has a pool of proficiency points, and every item has a proficiency point cost. The total cost of all equipped items cannot exceed the character's maximum PP. Anyway. <laughs> items currently equipped or displayed, sure. Okay, awesome. Random. Okay, it does say that it is random damage. I don't like that, but that is good to know at least. Notes on Fiends the Goost. Recruits cap, arming sword, nothing of real value. Cool. Oh, and I'm definitely the person that's going to uh, step on every single tile that I can. I'm not going to be, oh, go down to the next floor. No, there are tiles to step on yet. Ghost and boar? Ghost and boar. Alright, Elva, could you just, just be valuable here? Thank you. Take care of the ghost. And... I think I'll be able to kill it. Maybe. Ow, oh, I'll be one damage shy. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Watch Alpha do one damage. Great. Oh, there we go. Max HP, good. Max PP, good. I really should just say proficiency points. <laughs> just for my own benefit, and I'm going to guess this is the staircase. Yep. Okay. How does one save in this game, incidentally? Okay, I was like, did I freeze, or did I break the game? Um, quit, abandon, 
I don't know. We'll figure that out. Possibly. And one, two, three, four, five. Hooray! Three ability points. Now I can go down to the next floor. You know, I really didn't know what to expect with this game, and I still don't. Like, I guess the labyrinth got to figure out what's going on here, and don't know how many floors there are. I don't. I don't really know. I don't really know what the uh, what the whole deal is necessarily, but we're figuring it out. Withdraw. The party will flee from battle. No rewards will be earned to use this ability. I don't want that right now. It might be worthwhile to equip, but I'm being stupid and I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, good. Another ability point. Ah, screw it. I may as well. Okay, um, I don't know. I'm going to guess a ghost and two boars? Oh, no. Two ghosts. And a killer mantis. Okay... Um, I kind of want to kill the Killer Mantis. Yeah. And the boar. We can get them both. Well, it depends on how hard Elva actually hits. Yeah. Um, do at least 36. Cool. Love that for me. Okay, well, at least can kill the boar. Now, could someone useful actually help me out here? Yeah, let's just... just in case. Etheric touch. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, it's like I'm about to actually have some HP damage for a change. Let's start killing these things, then, because I don't want that. Oh, no. Don't you... I swear to god, if that's three, or less than three, if I get a one or a two out of that. Ugh, yeah, I gotta get rid of that weapon. I, if, I didn't, if I would have known, or paid attention, or whatever. Okay, a mace. Ooh, okay. Proficiency point increase for Elva, so maybe I can equip something better. Oh good, they all leveled up. Or by now they at least have. So, Elva, can I give you literally anything different? Wow. Okay. It's still random, but it is much stronger. Yeah, let's do that. Although, that does seem suspicious. No? Oh, it's a higher proficiency point. Okay. Ooh, 9A. What's that? Killer Mantis. Mystery Compound D. Would like to know what that is. We'll, uh... Ooh, more battles. Super glad I got this skill. Okay, I really don't... <laughs> I'm a scared. I don't want to battle. I'm just scouting out the area first. Oh, 470. It's a little bit larger than the last floor, that's for sure. Um, healing fountain. Don't need that, but at least I know what this battle's going to be. Um. How do I want to play this? I will get the boar ready to be killed. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to see how well this actually works. Wow! That was a lot more than I anticipated. I was thinking it was going to be like a 20 or something. Perfect. Okay. Great. Wanted to make sure I had someone with enough attack. Thank you, Wenzo. That's not looking great. Uh, <laughs> See if I can get this ghost killed before it attacks again. I might be able to, depending on Elva here. Okay. I mean, the odds of getting a 2 or a 1 are so incredibly low. It's like a 1 in 80 chance, but that's still a chance. Alright. Not mad about the increase in experience, either. What's this? Resurrection Shrine? Don't need that, either. 
I wonder if these floors are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Randomly generated. Well, sure I'll find out. Skeleton? I haven't seen one of those yet, but I have a feeling I'm about to. Cool. Probably right here. Damn, I'm good. Okay, do I... Oh, I can just take it out with an unarmed hit. Wow. That's awesome. Really stupid, but I love that. Can I... Is there another three around here that I can go for? That was... That was great. Look at the stairs down. Okay, I'm not going to get any more AP on this floor by just getting more tiles. I will for getting all of them, but... Oh, wonderful. I love these guys. Oh, wait. You're too fast. I don't like that. Um... Crap. Okay, Elva does have the... Something. What does Elva have? Oh, the unarmed hit. Right. So I can kill you. A little nervous about, uh... Guy Silblanc? Whatever. Yes, I do want to hit you. I'm getting all nervous now that I've got someone with no physical defense anymore. Two people. Oh, shit. So, let's kill you. Okay, good. As long as they don't focus fire, the battle's pretty easy. So, let's not focus fire, please. Oh. Weren't there only three in the last one? Am I making that up? Okay, um... I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that in time. Ooh, Ruenzo will be able to. Okay, good. So then I'll kill you. And then I think Guy Sablanc should be able to kill the other skeleton. I only have one left. Um, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> I'm just going to skip Nanga's turn here. It's just going to be quicker to use the unarmed strike. Man, that is awesome. Specifically, probably exclusively for the uh, skeletons. Okay, is that leather any better than what I've got? It is. Ooh. Oh, wow. The physical defense increases remarkable. And the speed increases pretty great as well. Who do I want to have more speed, though? I'm gonna give it to Elva. Oh, I forgot to see what the ROM equipment uh, is. Oh! Nice! I like that. Increase to all damages. Um, okay. Let's see what 5 is. Oh! Sweet! I'll take care of this one pretty swiftly, it looks like. And you're dead. Cool. I don't remember what three was. I'm already losing track. Oh, that's right. Well, that was a quick battle. <laughs> nice. Alright. So, as I'm rounding this down, level out a little bit. I'm missing three spots somewhere. Uh, considering my thoughts on this game so far. So far, I'm having a pretty good time with it. That being said, I don't know that it's worth the price so far, but then again, I've only played like, what, half an hour? Where am I at? Yeah, so far it's only been about 30 minutes. That's fine so far. I mean, I've still got stuff to figure out. I've only just stepped out for the first time. Ooh, come on, just be one skeleton. Oh, that's right, it's more than one. Cool. Oh, I should've... <laughs> I should've picked this one, because I would've been able to kill him before he acted. Whatever, it's fine. 
Okay, well, that's fine as well. Okay, Elva will be able to kill probably this one. Man, the unarmed strike is just doing numbers against these guys. Okay, yep, unarmed strike against you, and then I believe the two casters will be able to take care of the last one. Awesome. I'm really glad that it's not mixing in um, complications. It's it's simple, I'll say that. So far, like, it's... Um, oh, goody. They're not really, like, stretching themselves too much with <laughs> with uh, the mechanics, but, I like, that's what I don't like about a lot of the Final Fantasy games, is you get, like, some number of defense points, but you can't figure out exactly how that relates to how much damage you're going to be receiving. Aqua weed? It's an enemy? That's distressing. Denizens of the Labyrinth number? Huh. Interesting. So it has no magical defense, which I'm... Maliflux? Well, I haven't gotten any of that. I wonder if there's carryover from one, like, uh, party to the next. Like, if you have a full party wipe, how that works. Oh, there I am. And if there's a value to going back up or just continuing? I don't know. Now I kind of do want to turn the speed back up. Oh boy, that's a lot of skeletons. Well, um, no one is going to be able to go very quickly here, so I'll just go for this guy. Yikes, this could turn out very badly. Well, so far so good, so let's kill you since you're up next. Hopefully Ruenzo can speed up things up a little bit. That's not looking like it. Yeah, I don't think Ruenzo is going to be able to go before the top skeleton. Nope. But yeah, keep attacking Elva. I am super okay with that. Okay, this guy is going to die before I can do anything. This guy might be able to act, so we'll... S yeah, he's, he's going to be able to go. Ooh. Actually, if I kill this guy... Damn it. No, I didn't plan that out correctly. Actually, it might still be fine. Yeah, I'll just skip your turn and use an unarmed attack. Awesome. Not mad about the nine experience points either. Um, I don't want to do... So there... This floor doesn't seem to have a whole lot of stuff other than... Oh, there we go. Other than battles. Like, I, could I get some abilities? The Lamia... No physical defense. Love. Oh, I really want some leather armor. Can we can we start getting me some leather armor? Ah, there we go. Okay, I want to go up there to see what's on number six, five and six. I think I should know. There's probably a healing station or whatever. Yeah, let's uh, let's just start whittling your health down. I might be able to get these guys killed before they even have an opportunity to attack. That'd be pretty great. It really exclusively depends on Elva's attack. Okay, good. Mana Flux 2. Cool. Let's equip that to someone, I guess. I really want to leave their unarmed attacks just because they're really good. Oh, wow. Holy bastard. That is a... Oh, but it's random. Ugh. It's random. It's ranged. Magical. I don't know what ranged means. Is there like a, a help button? <laughs> so melee ranged. I don't... That might come into play later. I really don't like the random, but it is so much stronger. So I'm going to do it. Might come and bite me in the ass, but we'll see. Okay, resurrection, healing, resurrection. Yep, okay, well, whatever. 
Well, I know what this battle's gonna be. Yep, keep going for Elva. Love that. Who's next? And not like, who's next? But uh, literally, who is next in the turn order? Um, hmm, well. I guess I'll attack you. Ah, <laughs> that is not great. Not a good showing immediately. Oh man, five. God, that... Ah, uh, grr. <laughs> That's not how I wanted to start that, but whatever. Also, definitely telling me that uh, random may not be the best type of damage. Super not a fan. Yeah. Could you do something for me here? Thanks. Oh, screw you. <laughs> Just gonna use the unarmed attack. Oh, leather clothing. Absolutely going to equip that to somebody. Let's see. Ruenzo seems like the smartest person just because he has the lowest HP. And a little extra speed certainly not going to hurt anything. Okay, there's the way down. Skill? Math riddle level one. Interesting. The answer is the address. A, B, C, one, two, three, baby, never mind. Um, the answer is the address. Oh, six, seventeen, twenty-five. Oh, um, maybe on floor six. Shit, can I write this down? Hang on. Okay, I wrote that down. I think maybe on floor six and then coordinates what was it? 1725? There might be a thing? I don't know. I'll find out, I guess. Uh, let's see. Great. I'm so glad a fire truck is driving by right now. <laughs> Love that for me. Ooh, a hellhound. Not a fan immediately. Manaflex, I suppose. Man, that could be much better. Oh, great. Love that a lot more. I think I'll be able to kill him. Yes. Great. Wow. Random is not working in my favor exactly at the moment. Okay. Cool. I, I'm so glad I'm getting all these ability points that I can't use. Okay, well, let's kill you immediately. Man, I don't know what I want to do here. Is it... I could withdraw. <sighs> Nothing he has is all that great. I guess I'll kill the skeleton with, um... Guy Sablanc. One. Oh, now it's actually being valuable. Okay, come on, Elva, you can do it. Yes, you literally can do it. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'm really pleased that I haven't had any HP damage so far. Yeah, this floor is a little bit bigger. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. That was weird. Not mad. Well, I would have liked some experience, but whatever. Okay, um... 
Sure, let's do Malio. Mace, come on. More than 62. Great. More than 31. Or 31 or higher. So there we go. Things are finally starting to work in my favor. I do like for my purposes that when the defense is destroyed, it doesn't roll over into HP. That being said, I have a feeling that might come into play at some point in the future. Oh, I was like, what, what am I missing? I'm missing one. Cool, let's go down. Uh, let's see her. Hmm. Well, there's no getting around this. Yikes. Okay. Well, I think the responsible thing to do is to... Um... I got to do HP, I guess. 38 or higher. Great. I haven't even been paying attention to, like, who's going next or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just gonna attack! Yep, attack him. That's perfectly acceptable. Not- oh boy, don't care for that. So, I'm gonna kill you. Great. Oh, that- Please kill her. Yes. And for you, please kill him. Oh yeah, I only have to do one damage. I think I'll manage. Wow, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll do this battle and then getting getting close to being done with this episode. Ooh. I don't know what that was meant to do, but I don't like it. Let's try to go for the hellhound. Ooh shit, damn it. Fuck. <sighs> Um, I'm gonna try to kill this Aqua Weed, which means I have to do 19 damage or higher, which I'm not optimistic about, frankly. Come on, buddy, you got this. Okay, good, you do. Alright, Elva, 62 or higher? Oh, Elva's really killing it. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm quite pleased. Um, I don't really see a benefit in attacking or doing anything. I mean, it just, it's a, it does a thing, but like, it's not really going to end up being valuable. Yeah, let's do the guaranteed kill, please. Okay, let's just scout out real quick, see what we got going on over here. I'd like to get another skill, honestly. Well, there's a healing spring and a resurrection shrine, which I do not need. Because I'm absolutely killing it out here. Healing fountain, resurrection shrine, cool. Okay. Skill? Can I get a skill? 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 Anywhere a skill? Uh, whoops, I... Ooh, I wonder if I can cross there. Damn. There's a bridge out. Or I'm in a mine and it's caved in. That might be more logical. I really want to get down to the sixth floor so I can figure out the, the riddle situation. But I also want to know what's over at 60. Great. Um, go for the hellhound. Um, man, what do I want to do here? I can probably kill the Hellhound. And if I'm lucky, Guy Sablanc will be able to kill the Aquaweed on his own. Which means he's absolutely not going to be able to do that. Damn. Yeah, you, yes. Oh, wow. I'm really glad that however they've coded these guys, they don't, like, have the logic to absolutely always make sure to... Um... What am I trying to say here? To focus fire. I'd be in a I'd be in a bad way if they did that. 
great. Good. All right, 60. I believe it's a skill. Treasure! An emerald ring. Interesting. Can I equip that, or is it just something I can take along? Holy shit, my ass! Wow. Unfortunately, I would have to unequip other things that I do not want to get rid of. So if I got rid of that... No, I it just costs way too much proficiency. Closest is Elva, and I'd have to equip, unequip everything. God, wow, 3,000 magical defense. That is insane. I'm going to see if there's anything else. Purification Spring. That must be if there's a, a status ailment that I'm afflicted with. I could find out by clicking on it, but I'm not going to. Is there anything down here? Nope. Dead end. Okay, well, I'm just going to cover the ground I can without battling and call it an episode. I gotta say, I'm I'm actually enjoying this. This, like, when I saw the stuff on Steam about it, the uh, the images and the videos, like, this, there's not really going to be much here, is there? But I I'm, I'm not mad about it. I do think the price for what I have seen so far, is probably a little too high. That being said, if you've got the money, or you're a uh, stan like I am, for, <laughs> for Square Enix, then you're probably going to um, get it anyway. Uh, otherwise, I, I like this. I really want to see more of it. I might uh, make another episode. What I'm going to do is try to figure out how to end this. Whoops, I paused it again. So if, if I quick... Quit, quick on quit, suspend play, oh, suspend play and exit game. Progress will be saved. Wonderful. Absolutely love that. That's what I was worried about. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to call it an episode then, and I think I'll probably play uh, maybe one more, maybe a couple. We'll see. Um, I'm enjoying this so far. That remains to be seen. Um, definitely want to explore some mechanics, see what see everything that I can do, or more of what I can do in in as far as the mechanics go. Kind of want to go back up to the surface, but I don't really know how. But either way, we'll see everyone in the next episode and try to see what else I can do in this game. Thanks, everyone. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to remember to say that from now on. <laughs>